It seems from the moment we're born, music plays an important role in our lives. Songs become the chapter headings in our biography, marking special events or defining a particular period in our lives. From school days to holidays, from noisy nights out to quiet evenings in, music, it would seem, is always with us. So with this in mind, the Imagine Arts and Older People program, as part of a larger project focusing on the therapeutic benefits of music, arranged for a musician to visit some of Nottingham's care homes. Thomas Woodward is a music therapist with Methodist Homes. Over a period of three weeks during 2016, he shared his particular style of music making with some of the city's older residents. The technique I've developed over the last few years has been very much song-based. My body lies over the ocean. I tend to strum the guitar, that's my main instrument. I find that quite useful because I can have it round my neck and actually walk around and interact with different residents within the group setting. So Therapeutically, I'd actually be looking at clinical aims for music therapy groups, which would be reducing agitation or lifting mood. Sometimes music from different cultures or traditions as well, depending on their background. Um, and also various types of classical music, um, which is harder to perform in a group setting. So um, it, it could be anything. Last night, my father, Bill William, is uh, here as a resident in the care home, and he looks forward to these afternoons where they've got some entertainment on and singers. He used to do exactly the same in his spare time and evening. He used to sing, go into our people's home care homes, British legions, and, and sing. The tables have turned, is, is in here and listening to the same sort of thing that he used to sing. I guess I choose songs depending on their tempo, their rhythm, their harmony how easy they are to sing along to. With so much to choose from, what kind of music seems to work best in the sessions? The type of music I played in the sessions, any songs really from the 1900s traditional folk songs up to 70s or 80s or occasionally contemporary music. It's a vast range. The residents resonate with a particular song and might then start bringing back memories related to that. In that case, I would then probably choose that song again um, each week for that resident in particular. I thought we could do Amazing Grace again, because I do remember some of you were singing that really well. I think you know this one, Monica. We played Amazing Grace and Monica started singing very loudly and confidently. This raised some eyebrows with some of the staff. So I assumed from that that this was a, a very good response. Well done, thank you. 
So what are some of the benefits of music therapy? There's many different reasons and aims I'd be working towards. Are you getting up to dance? <laughs> or sort of motivating um, residents, encouraging reminiscence. What about the twist? Yeah, OK. Yeah, if anybody wants to join in, we're going to twist again. These sessions with Thomas Woodward were only part of a larger project focusing on musical memories commissioned by the Imagine programme. The project itself, developed in partnership with Nottingham Lakeside Arts as part of the Open Arts Forum, was supported by music students at the University of Nottingham. Having never visited a care home before, were there any surprises for this student? I thought it would be quite emotionally taxing. Um, I didn't really know what to expect, but as soon as we got here, it wasn't what I thought it would be at all. It was, it was quite light and fresh. But the staff have all been really helpful in welcoming us in and kind of introducing us and being friendly. So yeah, that's, that's been really helpful. Put me at ease quite a lot. Um, and I've never done anything like this before. So yeah, it's been really, really interesting. From my experience of running music sessions in care homes, the support of the staff is, is often key to making it more successful. It was fantastic to see the staff here joining in with the Pokey Cokey and the other um, popular sort of lively songs that I was doing. This really encouraged the residents to, to laugh and um, uplift the, the spirits immensely. It's clear that sensitivity is at the heart of Thomas's approach, encouraging residents to participate only as fully as they feel comfortable with. For residents living with terminal or life-limiting conditions, perhaps leading to depression and anxiety, just imagine how a regular programme of live music would have such therapeutic benefits and enhance the quality of life for everyone. That was fantastic. <laughs> wow. Ooh, I, I thought it was very, very good. I enjoyed it. You enjoyed it? No hesitation, darling. I love my music. Yes, I can tell. It's good to hear. Thank you so much. Yamaha. Yeah,